Testing one, two, three, here I go. Give me that microphone. Okay. My letter kiss. Yes, you look great. <laughs> oh my. Look at you. You like it? I love it. You look so good. Thank you. So do you. You mean that? <laughs> it is an honor when a dad gets to walk his daughter down the aisle. It's an incredible experience. It's even more enjoyable and more of an honor when he gets to turn around Let and perform the ceremony. Wow, baby, you look beautiful. Thank oh you. my goodness. Because it is a privilege and a joy to stand before you today, before these two. As a dad and as a pastor, I'm so excited for them. I want to read a portion of a letter that Connor wrote to Raina and I. He gave it to us last night. And I asked him if I could read this you today. He said, I know this day is emotional, but I wanted to tell you that I'll always protect your daughter. Will you write my name in your heart? Write my I will love her unconditionally and be the best husband, friend, and future father, God willing, that I can be. I promise to have God at the center of our marriage and to always push for us to grow together in Christ. Folks, that's a vow. Mary Elizabeth, our day is finally here. When couples talk about their marriage, they say, I'm married to my best friend. And this is exactly what we are doing. <laughs> we have been best friends for such a long time. The first time I saw you, I knew you had a special place in my heart. Our friendship blossomed into something amazing. I wasn't gonna cry. <laughs> Connor, today we celebrate making it out of the friend zone. From the moment I met you, you grabbed my attention, not because of how great you looked in baseball pants and not because of how much you liked Taco Bell, but because of how you treat others and love others. When you were just my friend, I fell hard in love. I never thought it was possible to find someone like you. You make me laugh when I'm at my lowest. You make me feel safe, seen, and valued. You show me how beautiful life can be, and you show me Jesus. Thank you for loving me. My promises to you are simple. I promise to encourage you and to help you follow Jesus' plans for you. I promise to push you to be the best version of yourself. I promise to be your best friend and the best teammate you've ever had. I will stand by you through any of life's curveballs. I promise to care for you and our family. I promise to love you wholeheartedly every day for the rest of our life. Most importantly, I promise to put Jesus in the center of our relationship. I promise to love you like Christ has called me to love you. Connor, thank you for choosing me to be your wife. I love you always and forever. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> I promise to love you every day. I promise to choose you each and every day. I promise to provide, protect, and pray for you. I will lead us in our marriage the way God intended. I promise to be your, your greatest friend, to serve the good, and be there through the bad. 
I promise to cherish and honor the woman of God you are. I promise to love Miley and any other puppies you bring home. I promise to wear orange unless Clemson is playing my dogs. I know you didn't enjoy our first date, but we all know a large cheese dip means that, that it's a date. I heard there is cheese dip after this, so I guess this is a real wedding. I love you so much and I can't wait to be your husband. Let's go get married. Connor and Mio as, as a representative of Jesus Christ standing before the Almighty God and through the power of the Holy Spirit, I pronounce that you're no longer separate, but that you are one. You're one family, one unit, united as husband and wife. And what God has joined together this day, let no one separate, separate. I pronounce that you're husband and wife. Connor, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Connor Ewing. All right, hello everybody. Um, my name is Chris. Um, I really don't know them that well. Um, they just told me if I gave this speech, they'd give me a lot of beer. Mio, you're a light when you walk into a room. To know you is to love you. If you know Mio, or Mary Elizabeth, as you might call her, you know that nobody loves quite as hard as Mio does. She loves tacos. She loves her dog, Miley. She loves Braves baseball. She loves Clemson football. Well, all things Clemson, really. She loves Nook, she loves her family, her friends, and of course, she loves Connor. Back in college, I was always that friend that Mia wanted to join in on the escapades. She was planning because she knew if her mom knew Beth was going, then she'd be able to go. <laughs> and honestly, I was proud to have that job. Um, but I'm, I'm, uh, I've no... I've known Connor since uh, we were seven years old. Um, we went to school together, we played baseball together, um, and Connor was very quiet. Um, he didn't really speak yet at the age of 10. Um, and so it was mainly just me talking to his dad, Mike. Uh, but as we got to high school, we stayed very close um, in a relationship where I mainly spoke and Connor just kind of listened. Um, Mio is very outgoing and has a little bit of a sassy quality that Connor is very laid back um, and it, it really works perfect together. Connor, thank you for loving my best friend so well. And that's why you, Connor, make this change so much easier. I know with you I can walk away and know she's okay. You've looked out for her from day one, and though I think you know all there is to know about Mio, if I could give you one piece of advice, remember when things get crazy or life gets hard, don't forget her three favorite words. Let's get tacos. I believe God's handiwork shows out in your relationship and the way you guys balance each other out is evidence that God handpicked you for one another. I can't say enough how thankful I am that Mio has you, Connor and also how lucky you are to have her. I can't wait to visit you guys in Georgia. Thanks for letting all of us be here to celebrate you and this incredibly incredible journey you're about to begin. Here's to the Ewings.